Hello everyone. Um, it's a lovely misty magical morning here so I'm out collecting some nettles. I'm going to make a nettle soup which is really lovely and nutritious and it's a perfect food for this time of year when we're it's still a little bit chilly and cool so you might need a warming soup but it's also one of the primary spring cleansing herbs. I'll just tell you a few of the positive things about nettles because some people can be put off by the sting. And of course, if you go online and look up nettles, if you come across one of those medicinal websites or a doctor's website, they'll tell you not to go near it, which is nonsense because it's one of the safest herbs. Um, as I say, it's a food as well as a medicine and it's really beneficial for men, women and children. And every part of the plant can be used. You can use the fresh aerial parts as I'm doing now. I'm just taking the, um, the young tops, the fresh young tops of the nettle, but you can also use the seeds and the root for medicine and the, the stems. I mean, these nettles here, they'll get up to about this high throughout the course of the year. So when they get old and bitter and um, you wouldn't want to use them for food anymore, you could actually make a new suit of clothes out of them because that's been done many times in the past. So this is when nettles are at the best. I'm going to get the tops, the spring tops for the soup. And um, I just thought I'll show you what they look like close up. They look similar to mint. They're both what you call labatai. They're both in the labatai family. So if you just have a look at the nettle, you can see also lots of very, very fine little hairs. And they're the stings. So each of these very fine little hairs is a hollow tube. Inside is some histamine. And when they sting you, it creates that I suppose you'd call it an allergic reaction and you come up with the red hives and the itchiness and soreness and the heat. So um, there's lots of folk tales about grasping the nettle and it's a softer silk and if you're nervous about touching it that's when you get the sting. So um, there's no harm if you do get the sting because it the sting is beneficial in its own right as well. What the sting does is it stimulates blood to come to the surface and um, to move around the body. So that can be beneficial for people who have rheumato rheumatism or arthritis and also um, circulatory issues because it, it prompts the, the blood to move. There's another clump of nettles here and it's interesting that they're next to the holly because they're both fiery um, plants. But um, some of the qualities of, of nettles is that they're astringent. So if you had heavy menstrual bleeding or a, a serious wound, they would be very good at um, arresting the flow of blood. They're great for uh, breastfeeding mums because they're so nutrient rich and they improve the amount of milk and the quality of the milk. And if you're pregnant and you end up with your legs all swollen as some women do, um, it's, an, it's a diuretic and it's going to keep your sodium and potassium balanced while it relieves the, the swelling of the legs. So it's um, it's really useful at this time of the year though, that's the point I want to make. It's a spring cleansing herb, it's an alterative. So it cleanses the blood. And one of the ways it does that is because it's so full of chlorophyll. And it also acts on the bladders and kidney, kidneys and bladder rather, to, um, to um, excrete toxins. So really you just cannot go wrong with nettle. It's absolutely packed full of vitamins. It has vitamin A, the B complex, folic acid, vitamin C and D, vitamin K. Um, the only thing I would say is be careful if you have um, blood clotting issues because of the vitamin K. So I have a nice basket full. And the soup is a great way 
to get all these nutrients into you. They also contain a lot of minerals. So you have calcium, magnesium, potassium, iron, um, zinc, I think is in there. But because of all this wonderful nutrition, you children benefit because it helps them to grow. It helps their growing bones. Uh, women who are nursing mothers, pregnant, or have heavy periods all benefit from nettle. And men can benefit from the seed and the root if they have prostate problems because it can reduce the uh, swelling of a benign uh, prostate hyperplasia. I mentioned that years ago people also used nettle for making fibre. In fact, in a Bronze Age tomb, Cremated remains were found wrapped in cloth made from nettle. But you can see when you're looking in this old last year's stem, how fibrous and pithy it is. So it was pretty much used and, and processed in the same way that flax is. Oh, somebody's living in there. I have my basket full of nettles, so I'm going in now to make some soup, to get all these nutrients into me, get my blood cleansed, get some get up and go, and to feel really, enlivened and rejuvenated because that's what nettle does and um, I just leave you with the idea that it's also a plant found in a lot of our folklore and mythology so you might want to think about that what is it telling us what is it teaching us it is ruled by Mars it's very much a warrior plant but in a way that enables you to command respect and to uh, have safe boundaries and healthy boundaries. I'm heading in now to make the soup so if you come up to the house with me I'll show you how I do it and you can give it a try yourself. Nettle soup is a really simple recipe. Onions, a couple of spuds, I'm going to throw in a carrot as well, and of course the nettles. So as with any harvest, you only take what you need. And because it's the early beginnings of spring, I want the nettles to be able to grow. I've only harvested a small amount that'll just make enough soup for myself and lol. So what you do is I have my oil heated here already, just throwing the onions into the pan to brown. So I'll just put those on to brown. I have um, about a litre of stock. The nettles I've rinsed because obviously there could be little visitors on them. They could be a bit dusty or whatever. And it's just nice to freshen them up a little bit. And when the onions are browned, I'll throw these in to wilt. I'm just going to add in the stock a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar because it's a great way to get all the minerals and the positive benefits of the vinegar into you. This apple cider vinegar is one that I made last year and the mother, you can just see the mother in the bottom there, is developing nicely. And I can use this as a starter for the next batch of apple cider vinegar. So I'm throwing in the vegetables now. I just add a little pinch of salt. And I think I might put in a little bit of pepper. Just going to cover that with the lid and leave it for about 20 minutes. And then we'll blend it. There it is. It's that simple. Anyone can make nettle soup. And I'll come back shortly and blend it and you can see what it's like when it's completely finished and ready to eat. I'm going to blend this now and make a lovely uh, smooth soup with it. But before I do, I'll just say nettle makes a really lovely, tasty, fresh um, pesto with a lot of 
vim in it and um, it's really tasty. You could also juice nettle if you make a juice during the day or in the morning. It's a, it would be a great addition. And um, you can also pan fry it or, you know, wilt it over the heat just as you would a spinach because when you do that, you lose the sting. So now we have a lovely fresh green soup and just think it's pretty much made out of sunshine because there's so much chlorophyll in the nettles that you're you're just one step away from sunshine and you, we know how good the sunshine is for us it really promotes healing in the body and builds up our immune system so i'll just give this a taste mm. Mm. that is really lovely so imagine that with some fresh homemade bread and you just couldn't go wrong so that's what we're having later on Really lovely. Sorry, I'll just have to have another taste. Mmm. It's really nice. So I hope you get around to making some nettle soup yourself. If you do, let me know how you like it. And um, if you've enjoyed this, maybe you might think about subscribing. And um, in the meantime, have a great week at this time of the spring equinox. Bye for now.